just jiggle it. Okay, never mind. Just hold it. Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. We are going to drive all over LA to try the top aesthetic boba shop. So don't forget to like and subscribe because gas right now is so expensive and I'm driving all over LA. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. So I just took pictures at this really nice Egyptian building in Chino Hill. So that's where we're starting for our first boba spot. The first boba I got is called Coco Moo Moo. I got an original milk tea with boba and lychee jelly. 0% as always because we are healthy today. And my brother got the strawberry shortcake. I got it just for the aesthetics. I can't even see. I got the strawberry shortcake just for the aesthetic. Isn't it so pretty? I think this has cream cheese in it. Usually the white thing on the side means there's cream cheese on it. Today we will be ranking the boba drinks based on aesthetic. First, then taste, boba, and service. Cheers. Pretty good for original. Oh, this is thick. This is really thick. It's a cereal. So aesthetic wise, I really like the cup. It has this moo shape, this cow shape. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. Aesthetic wise, I really like the design of this. I like how there's the cow design bowl on the cup. It says Coco Moo Moo on the front. For aesthetic, for the original, there's not like a lot of color because it's not like the strawberry shortcake one. So this one, I give it like a 6, 7 out of 10. And for the aesthetic of the strawberry shortcake, I give this a 9 out of 10 because it's so pretty. Usually smoothies, they have this cream cheese around it that makes it look super aesthetic. Taste wise, I rank this an 8 or a 9 out of 10. I really like this one. It tastes really good for no sugar. Usually no sugar tastes really bitter. But this one, you can actually taste the original milk tea and you can choose between the black milk tea or the green milk tea. I rate the boba for this an 8 out of 10. It's not too sweet and it's not too plain. It's not too chewy. I think it's pretty good. And the last ranking was the service. The service was really good. He told us if we needed any adjustments to let him know. The total cost was about 13, which is pretty good because usually two bobas are like $18 now. So to have both of these be 13 I think the pricing is pretty good. The smoothie was $7 and the milk tea was about six something with toppings being about like 50 cents each as usual. They only had limited flavors like they only had like five flavors for milk teas and like three flavors for smoothies and stuff. My next boba shop is Omomo. I didn't know they even had an Omomo in Chino Hills. There's two Omomos in Irvine so that's like the boba shop that Irvine is known for. So hopefully it tastes similar. I like the Momo in Irvine. It just gets a bit repetitive because I feel like it's near my school. So I used to go there a lot. The Momo is 10 minutes away. So I will see you guys in a bit. We just got a Momo. I just got the camel Thai. It's this cream cheese Thai milk tea and I got it with boba with 80% sugar and less ice. I got this more for the aesthetic than the drink. I usually get the black jade milk tea here. I think this one is a little bit less aesthetic compared to the strawberry shortcake. I think this is a lot more aesthetic. For aesthetics, I give this an 8 out of 10. I didn't get to try it yet. Oh, this is really sweet. For taste, this one tastes good. It's just really sweet because I usually get no sugar, but I got this for my brother, so she got 80% sweet. I give the boba a 9 out of 10, and the drink, I give it an 8 out of 10. Service was really good. Service, I give it a 10 out of 10. They also have a reward system. Every 10 drinks, you get one free drink. This was $5.90, so it's not too bad. It's the usual price for boba which is better than $7 because a lot of boba shops are $7 now, so the price is about like 7, 8 out of 10. It's the usual price. When people first start out with boba, I feel like Omomo is like one of their first shops, so definitely give it a try. Our next boba shop is Tea Brick. I've heard bad things about this shop, but it's really aesthetic. So I want to try it. People say the drink itself isn't good, but the bottle is really cute. It's so aesthetic, so I want to try this one out. They have different jar designs. They have a bunch of them with corgis, and there's, oh my gosh, look, there's a koala one too. This one is a 27 minute drive, so I will see you guys in a bit.
Hi, so we are back home because it got pretty dark. So I don't know where I left off with. So I think the first one we went to was the Coco Moo Moo, and then we got to try a Momo. Afterwards, I went to get tea break this place is so aesthetic but when they gave it to us it was really sticky but they were really nice and they wiped it off for us i got the thai milk tea i got it with boba the boba is so aesthetic look it's rainbow colored they have the white and they have black and look it's still layered even after sitting in the car for the past three hours and i got the original milk tea so their special milk tea i got it with the boba as well i didn't have to ask for colorful boba when i asked for boba this was the color they gave it to us in and i also added in vanilla ice cream for this one you can adjust the sweetness so i got no sugar for this one and this one i couldn't adjust the sweetness because it's already pre-sweetened i have to pull up my notes because i don't know what i'm ranking so aesthetic wise i would give this a 10 out of 10. look the bottles are so aesthetic and the layering is on point this has a cow and it says 2021 that's so weird we're in the year 2022 and then on this one there's like two cows on this bottle and then this one is the same thing so let's taste test these two it's kind of dripping so i'm just going to carefully invert these let's invert this one i'm so sad the layering so pretty let's start off with the special milk tea it looks very creamy because of the ice cream my hands are slippery, I can't open the straw. This one has a deep black milk tea taste to it. I don't think it's my favorite. Maybe this one will taste better. This one is also looking very creamy. I can't really show you guys because I'll spill it, but it's looking pretty creamy and I didn't put any ice cream in this one. This Thai milk tea tastes a lot better. It's just really sweet. The boba is really good. I give this a 10 out of 10. The aesthetic, I give out a 10. Taste, this one, I give like an 8 out of 10. This one, maybe like a 5 out of 10. It's pretty bitter. I got no sugar, but usually with boba, it adds the sweetness to it. So this one, I give a 5 out of 10. Next, I have boba. Boba, I give it a 10 out of 10. It adds just the right amount of sweetness to your drink. The price I paid for both of these was $14.50, and the jars cost an extra $0.50. Cents, so I thought it was worth it for the aesthetic. So I thought the price was pretty decent. I would come back here for the Thai milk tea. Maybe if it wasn't too sweet. The bottles are so cute. I'm so excited to keep these in my kitchen counter. I don't know what i do with all these bottles they're more just for my collection now we have three bobas left i'm spilling my drink everywhere or it's just like sweating everywhere anyways the next door i went to was boba box this is the first time i've seen a boba shop have like a cup like this it's like in box form so that's why it's called boba box this drink when it came out came out layered and then when i stirred it and shook it it was still pretty layered it's starting to separate which i don't really like because then it's like all the syrup and then it's all the milk but that tends to happen sometimes with fruit milk tea drinks this drink was really sweet the lowest they could adjust this drink to was 50 percent, and it's still pretty sweet boba is a bit hard i give it a 5 out of 10. i wouldn't come back for the boba and the drink maybe a different drink would be better if i could adjust the sweetness but because this separates so i think that's why i'm not liking it too much this is the box that they advertise look how aesthetic it is i asked for it and they said they only had this in 2021 but on the screen they're still advertising it so i wish they had this box that they're advertising in their stores and on their yelp but for the aesthetic that they have i give this a six five six out of ten for the taste i give this a four five out of ten i'm not really liking the taste just because it's really sweet and the boba is a bit hard it's not my favorite or maybe i should get like an original milk tea next time or a different flavor but i don't want it to separate because when it separates it tastes kind of weird next we have the service i thought it was good our lid was like a little bit open so they resealed it for us and made sure that it was like sealed on shut this drink was 625 the next store i went to was down the street from boba box so it's really convenient downtown so it's all parallel parking and i feel like there's some public parking but you have to walk there so parallel is the best way to get directly to the store it is currently wednesday night so parking was an issue but i feel like on weekends because a lot more people are off work there'll be more downtown so just keep an eye out for that i got cup of chat i got the unicorn dream milk tea just for the aesthetics this is a strawberry milk tea and they added butterfly pt on top with boba this is what the drink looks like this is how they advertised it when i got it it looked exactly like this but there was a lid on top here and you can also choose your milk options i chose whole milk because they didn't have two percent milk but they also have oat milk and almond milk 
oat almond and another type of milk that I can't remember on the top of my head. Service was really good. They give you a stamp card. So I think for that one, it's like every 10 drinks, you get a free drink. The price for this was $6.89. You can upgrade it into a can also. This is what it looks like. I think it's like a 50 cents upgrade charge usually that's the price for most boba shops the cashier said i couldn't put this into a can because you have to layer it so that's why it's in this plastic cup okay i lied i thought this one looked exactly like the advertisement but mine is more of a pink purple color it's still really aesthetic it's just a different color so for aesthetic i give this one a 7 out of 10. I feel like if it looked more like the advertisement, it would be more aesthetic. This tastes like a creamy strawberry milkshake and yogurt. Butterfly pea tea doesn't really have a taste. It just adds to the aesthetic. When you pour the blue on top, it like mixes with the drink. So it's like more blue, purple. So for taste, I give it a 6 out of 10. It's not my favorite drink. I like my drinks more milky and this is more yogurty. For the boba, it's really chewy and a little bit plain. So I give it a 5, 6 out of 10. I actually went to Mochi Nut for the Korean corn dogs because I was really craving one, but I didn't know they stopped selling it at a certain time so i got boba without the boba because they ran out i think it's really cool that it comes in a can so for aesthetic it's just green milk tea in a can so i give it a 5 out of 10 the taste cheers i give it a 2 out of 10 i don't really like matcha i thought it was like a green milk tea so that's why i got it but it's a matcha milk tea it's not my cup of tea get what i did there because i'm drinking tea for boba there's no boba in this service they were nice i just wish they were still selling food and for the price of this this was 550 so i think that's pretty expensive because i didn't get any boba in it and usually it's about five plus like the boba so it's like 550 at mochi nut you also cannot adjust your sugar so this one is not too sweet i'm really full and i'm really hungry at the same time i think i just need real food in my system to function so now is the time to rank all the drinks that i got based on aesthetic and taste I would rank Coco Moo Moo first for their drinks. I really like the taste of their drinks and I really like the aesthetic of the cups and the strawberry shortcake. At number two, I would have tea brick. I just wish the Thai milk tea was a little bit less sweet and I wish the original milk tea tasted better. If I were to come back, I would want something like this drink. The aesthetic is also there, so I would rank tea brick as number two. At number three, I have Omomo. I get this every once in a while and I really like it. I just don't particularly like this drink. I really like the black jade milk tea if you guys ever get a chance to try. It's really good, especially pairing it with boba and lychee jelly. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I love it. I would rank the cup of cha as number one one two three i would rank this as number four i think this was too yogurty and creamy for me and the boba wasn't there i personally think the tea brick is more aesthetic than the cup of chai just because it has the bottle next i have boba box i didn't really like this too much the box is cute i just wish i got a different drink and the boba was okay to me and the last one we have is mochi nut there's no boba and this drink was just there I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you did like it, I will post all the addresses of the boba shops that I went to so if you guys get a chance to try it. Let me know what you guys think of it and if my ratings are right. I really appreciate you guys driving around with me in LA to try the most aesthetic boba shops in LA. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. They tell me that I'm wasting time Tell them something I don't know